Hey all you online sellers, this is Steve from Octiva.com and right now I want to show you an easy way to make more money. We live in a visual world, which means the images you use in an online marketplace play a crucial role in determining a sale. The name of the game is pictures, and professional product shots equal more sales. So to get the most out of your product pictures, I'm going to show you how to build a light box in just a few easy steps. This light box will help you increase sales by isolating your product from its background and placing emphasis on its detail. It will also provide a well-lit environment for an excellent camera exposure. So in order to build a sales increasing machine, we're going to need to start with just a few things you can probably find around your house. A cardboard box some white tissue paper, a piece of white poster board. You're gonna need two light sources, preferably with fluorescent bulbs. As far as tools go, you only need a box cutter or a carpet cutter, a ruler or straight edge, scissors, tape, and a Sharpie or marker. Let's begin, shall we? The first thing I want to do is grab my ruler and pen and begin to mark the guidelines on the box for the sections that will be cut out. Right, when I'm drawing my guidelines to cut the sides out of the boxes, I want to use the width of the ruler, just about an inch. And if you're using a straight edge, this is about a good size to go for. I will be marking three sides of the box and leaving one side of the box blank, as well as the bottom of the box. All right, now that I've drawn the squares on the three sides that I'm gonna cut out, it's time to cut them out. Now be careful here, because it's very hard to type and list things online if you're missing fingers. All right, now that I've got my three light holes in place, let's see, with one, two, and three, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the top and two side flaps to just get them out of the way. And the last one. All right, there we go. All right, now that we've gotten this far, I'm gonna go ahead and put the poster board inside. Now the idea for this is to be the background of the product that we're gonna shoot. So with the poster board, I got a glossy and a matte side. You're gonna to wanna to use the matte side facing out so the reflective side doesn't interfere with a camera flash. All right, now as you can see, the poster board's a little bit bigger than our box here, so what I'm gonna do is just kinda of mark that off. Now that I've made my mark, I'm going to use my straight edge here to make a guideline so we can cut off the excess poster board with our scissors. I'm just going to make this poster board a better size. Now when I put my poster board inside, I want to be careful I don't put any creases in it. Now remember, this is a lighting background. So as I get it inside, I have this nice curve. Now that I've got the poster board in and all the way up to the top, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure the very top of it with a piece of tape so that that doesn't slide down or go anywhere. There we go, firmly in place. Now it's time to lay the tissue paper over the holes we've cut in our box. All I'm gonna do is lay the tissue paper over the side that it I want it to be it. And once I've got the tissue paper here, I'm just gonna take one piece of tape to hold that in place. And I'll take my scissors here. I'm just gonna trim off the extra. All right, now that I've got it in place, go ahead and secure this tissue paper. With my tape around the edges.
And here I'm just going to continue doing the same thing for the other two sides. Now that I've gotten to this stage where my three cut sides have tissue paper on them, something to keep in mind is if this isn't diffusing light as much as you might want it to, and we'll see that in the finished product, you can always add more layers of tissue paper. Now that I've got my three sides ready to diffuse light, let's go ahead and bring in the lighting source. So for this far side, I've got a clip light right here. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this to my table. And for this other side, I've got this little desktop lamp right here. Let's bring some light into this shot. Alright, now that our light box is built and we have our light sources, we're pretty much ready to shoot. Now one thing you may want to play with to make your shots as perfect as possible is adjusting the focal points of the lights. Where are they aiming? Make sure there's no shadows within your box and that plenty of lights coming in. Now keep in mind, with your light source next to the tissue paper, you want to make sure you turn it off when you walk away from your light box. Alright, let's have some fun and try a product shot with our little buddy. Now let's review the steps that we've done in building our light box. For more online selling tips and tricks, you can visit our YouTube channel or head on over to Octiva.com. From Octiva.com, I'm Steve, wishing you the best in your online sales.